a mirror on a medicine cabinet broke in one of my rental units. I'm going to show you how to quickly replace it. You have to measure right and there are options. Let's go. First, let's take an X-Acto knife and score the caulking so this comes out easier and we don't take chunks of paint off. Try to do all sides. Next, inside the cabinet there are going to be screws. Once the screws are out, the cabinet will come right out. If it's a little stuck, give it a nice firm pull. Not much to it. This one, the installer put a wood spacer at the bottom to make it tighter. Now, shopping for a new one was a bit of a surprise. There was a lot to choose from. My big concern was to get the right measurements so the new one would be tight, but not too tight, or I'd have to do some cutting. There are a lot of different sizes and models. One door, two door, three door, frame, frameless, and some made out of a metal cabinet, and some of the cabinets are made out of wood. Good thing I brought my old cabinet to verify the size. This Glacier Bay Medicine cabinet seems to be the right size. The box has the surface mount dimensions, which is the size of the mirror, and the cutout is obviously the size of the inner cabinet. I placed it in and it was a tight fit. I had to shave a little bit of drywall, but not much. I just put in two screws, one on each side on the top to secure it, and I put caulking around the edges to make it look flush to the wall. The cabinet was inexpensive enough, about $45, and the cabinet was made of wood, which I was surprised when I opened up the box. I thought they were all made out of metal, probably the reason why it was so inexpensive. Bottom line, it'll do the job, and it looks okay. If you get the measurements right, for sure this is a do-it-yourself job. I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.